Got a deal on a 1985 star. Uh, this is where she was parked for nearly three years in all the weeds. Tires are low, but still good. Um, pulled her out so I could check and get it ready to tow home. Took a couple hours, checked the wheel bearings, had to rewire the trailer lights, and had to secure everything, but 7140 at around 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon was headed back from Cleveland to Liberty Township. As you can tell, she'd been sitting a long time. Cover was shot, but thankfully, cover kept the sun off of most of the fiberglass. Another side shot before I got everything all tied down. It was a, a battle of MacGyvering this thing to get it home. But after a lot of work, I'm ready to pull out and make that. It was about three and a half hour drive turned into about five. And here we are the next day uh, getting ready to start cleaning up, peeling away all the wrappers. And you got the drone so you could see a shot down inside. It looks like the cover had failed. Um, like I said, it had been sitting there for nearly three years. Um, yeah, so the cover shot and water got down inside. But I um, wanted to do kind of a before and after shot. And the bow of the boat on the left is actually Jerry's boat that we were fixing some fiberglass when it fell off during the wind but here i'm going to spin around a little bit so we can see before i start doing undoing all the cables and there's jerry's boat uh here it is after i got everything off and again i'm still playing with the drone learning how to fly this thing um i'm gonna just take a picture of it so i can capture it's pretty dirty you can't really tell in the video but thankfully, the cover kept the sun off of and the weather off of all that beautiful fiberglass. Looking down in the cockpit, you can see where the water had pooled and had a nice moss collection. And here, another angle, trying not to hit the tree. Uh, I had the mast on the star wooden stands. The mass has a slight bend in it, but I think um, you can't really tell there. But when you look down, you can see right at the the uh, shrouds. Now I'm going to look inside from another angle. On the 1985, they had uh, built-in buoyancy. On my 1971, you have to add that with airbags. So this is uh, a little bit different, um, quite a bit more modern than the 1971 that I have. Right here's another shot up close. You can see all the moss and the yuck. But everything here is pretty good for a 19, mid-1980s. Uh, it had been raced up to that time and then the owner had purchased a newer boat. And I've got the pressure washer all fired up and ready to go. In the next shot, you're going to see the before and after. And I, I use the tip that is the easiest in, in a watch, but you can see how dirty it was. And you can see how the pressure washer just takes all that off. It's not perfect, but now the next thing will be some cleaning with some soap. Uh, especially designed for this. The hatch will go back on after it dries. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and we'll keep the videos coming. Thank you.